the patriotic front. You know, um, does it stand any chance of a comeback? If you, as the patriotic front, which you keep doing, say, oh no, this uh, uh, you know, current president might just be a one-term president, why would the people of Zambia want to you know, return you again? Even if, let us say, that the new donors to be a one-term government, then why would the people of Zambia want to come back to you again instead of you know, picking another person to continue you know, governing the country? Uh, thank you very much, Nikio, for that question, and thank you, viewers out there. The issue of uh, one-term government is out, because uh, this is 100% clear that this is a one-term government. Okay. It is very clear that it's a one-term government. It is very clear that it's the one-term government. They have no governance plan. And we want to congratulate President uh, Akainde Nchirema in advance, for making it after so many years in opposition as a Republican president. And for that side of made the history, not only for opposition, uh, for, for the party called the UPND, even for your tribal mates, okay? We, they are now comfortable that they have governed the country before, okay? So the issue of uh, one term is, uh, it is not an issue now because it is 100% these guys, they are going out. Why PF an alternative? PF is an alternative because the people, they have told us that you guys, you are a best political party. But the only things which you had, uh, cadarism and violence. So we have told them, okay, thank you very much, our masters. On cadarism, we are very sorry. On uh, violence, we are very sorry. And we are just human. And we have said, give us chance for us to see whether we have repented or not but we have repented because we have heard what they have told us in terms of development we can't be compared to upnd we can't because as we are pro uh, we are we are we are we are first of all pro poor government and our programs is to develop this country by putting up infrastructure by turning around the economy by opening up other uh, economic uh, sectors. That is what we, we, we believe in as, uh, as PF. So the alternative here, they, it can't even go very far. The alternative is from PF, from PF to UPND, from UPND uh, to PF. We want to reach, in fact, we have reached a situation where the democracy in America is the same democracy which we want to push in our country. We are sending the UPND back in opposition, not because it's a bad party, but the president has messed up this country. So we want them to go and reflect first and come up with good ideas how to govern the country. Because as it is now, it is Chimbuino plan. And as a country, we can't have a president and government without ideas. Then the people will suffer. They sent us into this uh, local leave for us to reflect on other things which we did not do well and now we have realized that cadarism was bad and uh, 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 violence so as we are going back in 2026 it will be 100 percent a new pf with the transformed mind towards one another towards brothers and uh, sisters. So for me, the answer here, Nikiwe, is lies in PF, the answer to push this country forward. So the issue to do with UPND, and I want the PF out there in all the 10 provinces, 156 constituencies, be proud of yourselves. Stand up and defend your party. Make sure that you put on those uniforms, the green uniforms, put on them. We are in a free country. Zambia is our country. And PF, we are very proud because we brought development to this uh, country called uh, uh, Zambia. So for me, uh, Nikiwe, I would urge the people of Zambia to start reorganizing themselves because PF is coming back in government. There are no two ways about it. They are not two ways about it. 
Do you know the reason why? The UPND and the President Takahinde Ichirema wanted to slap the tag of corruption to PF. He wanted to kill PF. Now he has failed to uh, uh, he has failed to succeed. He has failed to manage to succeed on branding PF corrupt. Because the people are now, the people are, they are, they are, they are sharp, the people of Zambia. They're saying, yeah, yes, Mr. President, PF are corrupt, yes. What have I done? And no, actually they stole. Or oh, they stole what? Uh, they stole money. From where? Tell us where they stole money. From where? Tell us. Show us. Where's the money? Six, eight months down the line. Tell me the money which they have recovered. Tell me. They went to recover money from the private individual. Private individual. Private individual who has nothing to do with government. Private individual. Okay? Private individual. Your money is your money. Uh, uh, Nikiwa, your money is your money. If you can say, yes, I got this money using one, two, three, four. If you're my girlfriend, I can even give you $1 million. As long as I know where that $1 million is coming from. It is not your fault, man. It is not, you are not corrupt, you. You are not a free woman. If you are, you are a free woman, okay? So why should you start now uh, prosecuting uh, innocent people? So are you telling me that in Zambia? Uh, if uh, Nikiwa and other ladies, they have boyfriends, so the, those boyfriends, they can't give anything to them. They can't buy cars to them. They can't buy uh, houses for them. They can't uh, upgrade them. Because uh, the SEC, they will say proceeds of crime. Is that what you are saying in this country today? They're lucky you. Because uh, you would be suffering, you guys. There will be no one uh, helping you. They will be fearing that, you, oh, the SEC, they will be they will be on you. So, uh, this country, uh, 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 Nikio and viewers out there, there is no fight against corruption which this government is doing, but they are pushing their hard with their political persecution. But this thing will, be, will backfire on them very soon. We have uh, cooperating partners, right? So, these embassies, you see, you see, don't think that they are just drinking tea. Don't think that they are just drinking tea, those people. No. They give reports to their respective countries. If it's every day, if it's every Wednesday, if it's every Tuesday, they give. They talk to their presidents, these people. They talk to their prime ministers. They, they talk to their, uh, to their head of governments, these people. How is Zambia? What is happening? Eh, no, sir. Fighting a corruption. Okay? So, those are the things which we need to avoid as a country. Those are the things which we need to avoid as a country. Okay? So, for me, I want to wish the people of Zambia well. I want to wish President Taka Inde Ichim and the UPND government well because we don't want to come and have more problems when they. The, when they leave power in 2026, we want to hug them, we want to peck them, and we want to tell them, guys, job well done, you have done your part, we want to continue. Go and train for the mistakes which you have made. Go and train. You can't run the government today based on borrowed money. You cannot. We have to think outside the box, and that's what we are coming to do. We are going to think outside the box. We want to make sure that the lost glory for Zambia comes back.